What up, Long Beach? Welcome back to GazetteSports.com. It's JJ. And Mike. And on Tuesday night in the Wilson Gym, we had the first big more league battle of this 2011 season, and it was girls volleyball. Naturally, it's girls volleyball. These two teams could, either one of them could win the league championship, so this is big. The two keys right there, Zayna Bowen's not playing, Rebecca Strilo definitely playing. Holly was the walking wounded with four starters injured, and then Rochelle Suave and Nikki Withers were going to play on injured. Well... Strilo, obviously champion setter, but going to have to do a lot more than that for these Bruins this year. Oh yeah, she, you're going to see her all over the place, but uh, speaking of all over the place, this first set was kind of wild, JJ. No one really seemed to want to grab control of the match and take it. Yeah, well, when you don't have a lot of guns, you got to go to the biggest one, and that was obviously number five. Rebecca Strilo getting it done to have her get it done, though. You need girls like Mary Hernandez. Look at that running bump set. I love it to get her the ball. Strilo on point. Polly not so much. They had 15 errors in the first set. Not to, not to get the number you want there. They also only scored 15 points. Easy win for Wilson. But then Polly really stepping it up despite having all those starters out in the second set. Rachel Kellogg with 10 kills was huge in this match. Yeah, early at the net they were all set long. Definitely. They did a great job stepping up their physical presence. You see here that even Rebecca Strilo not hitting through that block. However, Strilo does key a 24-22 uh, Wilson lead that you felt like was probably going to swing this into a two-set advantage for Wilson. However, Nikki Withers starts it with the block. She had six kills, two blocks, and an ace in this one. And then Rochelle Suava kind of playing that joker role for Polly of every position on the court, and she puts this one down for a 26-24 comeback on four straight points. Yeah, that was an amazing run. It definitely rolled into the third set as Simone Ward puts down this ace, and then all around the net, it's a Nikki with another kill for Withers. Castro, though, is keying another Wilson run because this Hernandez-Castro block gets Wilson back to within three points and then Hernandez finds Castro. It would seem like everybody had their time to make a run. Definitely, and Wilson was able to really diversify that offensive approach in the third set. However, Rochelle Suava was all the diversity Polly needed. She had 19 kills and she came up huge in the third set. Look at this, she's just not taking no for an answer right there. With the look like it's gonna be a kill, but she comes back with the block, 25-23, Polly takes the third. We go to the fourth, where Wilson just played outside their minds. They just came out and took it. Yeah, Polly ends the third set on a 5-0 run. You thought maybe they'd roll the momentum, but certainly not. Sydney Newton and Lauren Howard Chavez in the middle, clogging up the lane, and then the back set from Hernandez. Ooh, that's fancy. She's pretty fancy, huh? I like it. Howard Chavez on the block again. Really, Wilson's uh, uh, Wilson's play at the net, huge later on in this match. A ton of Polly errors. Keys another big Wilson uh, win, and now we go to a crazy fifth set. Polly out on a 7-1 lead behind Rochelle Suava, and then it got weird. Yeah, the ball definitely started bouncing the Bruins' way. You would expect that to happen in your home gym. So it's nine, or excuse me, 12-13. Wilson's on the net there, so it's 14-13. Polly receiving here, gonna go for the win. However, Suava with the cut shot, just a little, out, little bit outside, so it's 14-14. Jillian Pineda with the hit. Aaron Dig. Well, it looked like, for me, from my perspective, the ball, the ball was live. The ball was the live ball the whole just time. Landed. But it looked like it bounced straight up against the ceiling and then came down. But what it did, it hit the backboard. Right. So Wilson plays in their gym. They know that's a live ball. Polly looking for an explanation. Not going to get one. Backboard's in play. 15 14 match point. However, that served wide, so we're 15 15. Now, Newton with the amazing wow. dig to Strilo is going to come up huge. Well, yeah, because you're going to give it to her, right? You're going to have to give it to Strilo. You've got to feed your best player in these situations. And, oh, you thought Polly was maybe going to keep this alive. <laughs> Rebecca Strilo gets it. So, once again, Wilson up on top. They're going to serve for the match again. Coming up, looking for Suava. And they're going to be on the net. That gives Polly the point. So, we're tied up again. This time it's 16. So where are you going to go, Mike? Well, you're going to give it to Strilo first. She tries the changeup. Polly was covering all match long. They stopped that one up. But when like, you've set him up with the changeup. Yeah, like a good pitcher, you give him a gas. <laughs> Woo, Strilo with the heat. One of her 24 kills on the night. She sprints back to serve because she knows this is hers to get with the service. For the match, Strilo with an incredible left-handed dig right there. Well, yeah, it's a bad passing from both teams, but she gets it over. Another dig by Polly. That's Ave Mika Ele. But Wilson going to set this up. They're at home. That's Lauren Howard Chavez down the right side with the winner-winner 
wild chicken dinner, JJ. It was a bit wild. 25, 15, 24, 26, 23, 25, and then right back at you. 25, 19, 18, 16. Maybe not the best volleyball we've ever seen here in Long Beach, but if we get a more league season like that, I'm down. I mean, with so many injuries to have three deuce sets and such incredible emotional play from both sides, comebacks, huge runs, Wilson taking that opener in their home gym, hold on. It's just getting started at GazetteSports.com.